YouTube, it's Jay with Earthly Kisses coming to you today with a new soap. Uh, today we are making a mango papaya scented soap. Um, uh, this is my regular recipe that I use, but um, I made some slight changes to it. Um, just to see if I can get it to swirl just a little bit better. Um, I do know that it is mostly due to my recipe, but I have omitted my kale and clay uh, out of this recipe this time, so that is not in here. And I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm adding, I have added uh, sugar to my lye mixture. So we'll see what happens. Um, we got our colors already mixed up and ready to go. Uh, we have our fragrance set aside along with the vanilla, sta vanilla stabilizer. I have them measured out separately here. And I'm going to mix it uh, just before it's time to add it into the soap. Uh, it does need to sit at least about two minutes before you add it in when you are mixing in vanilla stabilizer. Um, I'm only doing a two to one mix. Um, there's not that much vanilla uh, in the soap, but I just want to make sure that it is not going to turn all my pretty colors brown. Uh, so uh, we got that ready. We got the lye water ready, and so let's soap. Okay, guys, so I have gone ahead and mixed my vanilla stabilizer just before we start the process because, like I said, it does have to sit for two minutes uh, prior to adding it to your mixture. You do not want to let it sit no longer, any longer than uh, 20, excuse me, no longer than 15 minutes. Um, or else it's really not going to be good. Uh, you have to dump it and start all over again. So I want to. Alright. So now we have our emulsion. Our colors today are going to be, I have some um, Woodland Green uh, from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I have some Neon Yellow also from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, neon, I want to say it's Neon Mango from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And uh, All Locking Red from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Now the oil locking red is not going to wind up really being red in the soap. It's going to turn like an orange tint uh, similar to the uh, Lick Me All Over soap that I made. Um, you can see a previous video of that if you search on my channel. Uh, so yeah. We're just gonna pour this out in equal portions. Um, I really don't have much of a plan for this soap as of yet. I'm just going with whatever I think is gonna be okay. Oh my goodness, that jar glass container is so heavy. My hands are a little crampy today. Okay, you're gonna call that good. All right. So our base color is going to be orange. I think I'm gonna pour a little bit more in this one. Excuse me, our base color is going to be yellow. And hopefully, I have more yellow than anything here. So here's our yellow. I'm going to add the fragrance towards the end. Uh, just to make sure if we have any acceleration, uh, we'll still have time to play around. 
and I know this is more of a neon however um, when I soaked this before it turned out to be it wasn't quite a neon it wasn't a very bright yellow which is what we're going for we're going for the muted yellow of a mango or a papaya so that to the side and let's do our green and we'll see how this goes because some of these these oils are not dispersed the same the uh, woodland green has to be dispersed in water so I always pop that end off um, it annoys me so I always pop it off <laughs> And I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Here's our green. I think I'm going to add a little bit more to it. There's our green. That turned out wonderful. Hopefully that will stay green and not change it to some other color. Um, I wound up getting this one um, after watching another soaper use green in her soap because I tried uh, a different green um, from Wholesale Supplies Plus and the color morphed on me to it was like a grayish color. I can't even explain what that color was. I didn't whatever it was it didn't it wasn't green in the end result. And this is our neon uh, mango. Uh oh. See, I'm always making a mess. I'm trying my best not to here. Oh, that's very pale. We're going to have to use all of that. Um. One thing I can tell you is that I'm already noticing a difference in my soap batter uh, from not having the uh, the clay in it. So. I kind of wanted this to be a little darker than this. Uh, something tells me that is going to lighten up significantly. I haven't soaked with this one as of yet, so I'm just going to add a smidgen more to that. And this color disperses in oil, so it'll be fine to add it right to our soap. I'm running out of it already. And that's just going to have to do what it do. Because um, I don't have much more of that. Now these uh, are just pretty much test batches. If it turns out okay, um, I will offer it for sale. Um, right now I have two places where you can go to find my soaps for purchase. You can either go to uh, www. Earthly Kisses dot me do that's M I I D U U dot com or you can go to www dot M K T slash earthly dash kisses dot com and I'll make sure those links are down below um, because I could be saying it wrong. Okay, so we're going to call that good. We're going to have to make sure we give that a good mix so we don't have any clumps of color out of that one. 
And as usual, I am making a mess. And last but not least, our oil locking red. Uh, I'll use this one. Having issues with the spatula there. Word to the wise if you buy spatulas. These here, when they come apart, you have to be careful. Can you see how that liquid is coming out of there? I've washed these, set them out to dry. If you don't take these completely apart, water gets trapped in these ridges in here. And you don't want that to be transferred into your soap. Okay, so be careful. So that's why I set that one to the side and I pulled out one that is actually 100% dry. Okay, so let's go with our oil locking red. Now this color, this oil locking red, it does morph. Okay, which is why I'm using it because I wanted a nice orange color. A deep orange color. And supposedly this will morph into an orange and cold process soap. So we will see. And even if it doesn't, it's okay. It will be quite all right. And I didn't think I was going to use all of this, but I guess so. You know, I always underestimate how much color I need. So I went a little bit extra for what I normally do. And um, maybe I just got it 100% spot on this time. I'm going to get the last of that out of there. Yeah, so yeah, my batter is so much better now that I don't have the clay in it. I do like the clay in my soap, and it uh, helps to hold the scent in the soap. But you know, when you want it to swirl and all of that, you got to have the right consistency. And I just, I love this recipe. I hate to change it too much, you know, because it's awesome just the way it is. Okay. So, there's our red. I hope you can see that. I know the lighting in this corner is bad. I got sun on my side today, but um, uh, it's just not as bright as I need it to be for now. So let's go ahead and get everything mixed in and then we are going to add our fragrance and start pouring. This one is uh, tracing a lot faster than everything else, so we gotta hurry up and get the boogie going. Now, something else I'm trying to get a handle on is um, get this cleaned up. Something else I'm trying to get a handle on is uh, how much mixture I should be making for a batch and how tall I want a specific soap to be. Um, haven't really cared about that so much, uh, but now I do because I want to make sure that the size of the bar of soap um, is going to be okay, you know, I don't want to be stuck, okay, this is starting to move too, I don't want to be stuck with, um, I don't want to be stuck with a bar of soap that I really can't offer for sale, this is decorated, there's something going on with that, Okay. 
oh, to finish my thought, I don't want to be stuck with a bar that's like only three ounces. I want, you know, four, at least four and a half, five ounce bars of soap. And I know it's kind of hard to get out of the size mold that I have unless I do like a high top, uh, which I'm working on that too. Okay. So that makes them very well. I believe we will be able to go ahead and get a decent swirl out of this soap, which really excites me because I love swirls. I am a swirl whore. I love them, love them, love them. Even if they come out ugly, I love swirls. And I hope you guys can still see what I'm doing. Just mixing my fragrance in here. I hope everybody is having a good day. It's nice outside. The sun is shining. I started off with a good day and then my, my mood got dampened a little bit um, by some things that are going that was going on, but um uh, after something down my day a bit, something came up later on that made my day back to the way it was. So I'm having a great day. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we got everything all mixed in. I'm going to pause you guys for a bit, move some of this stuff out the way, and then we're going to get pouring. Okay, so we got our mold. Um, this fragrance is behaving very well. Um, I'm not seeing any rising. It's not accelerating. It is just being very, very good today. So, let's get started. And like I said, I don't necessarily have a plan for this soap, we are just going to pour and see what we get. So our yellow is our base. We're going to start off with that. And I'm going to pour it from kind of up high. <gasps> Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so excited. I get to do a drop swirl. Uh, those who are not into soaping, you may not understand my under my excitement. But those who soap, I'm sure you understand why I'm so excited about this. And I'm not going in any particular order or anything like that. I'm just pouring. Um, my mango color is starting to get a bit thick on me. But it's still sinking in pretty well. Um, and the woodland green is behaving better now that I've added the fragrance to it. That helps thin it out a bit. I tell you guys, one of these days I'm going to find a better spot to soap at. Um, my cabinet is getting in the way, so I, I'm having trouble 
pouring uh, the way I want to. And I may have too much batter, which is okay. I just have to switch uh, to another mold, maybe, possibly. I do have another mold on standby. Just in case. And see how you pour up high, even if it's getting a little thick for you. It drops right down in. Oh, this soap is going to be so pretty. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're kind of like at the top there. So, I'm going to let that set up a bit uh, so I can do something with the top. Don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be something pretty. I'm just so excited that I was able to get this recipe to behave. I need my smaller mold. We're gonna see what this doohickey is gonna do. And even if it doesn't, if I can't get it filled up all the way, that's quite fine. And I see the base color for this one. It's probably gonna have to be green because that's really mostly what I got left here. Don't have too much of this color left. So I won't be putting that much in there because I gotta save some for the top on this. I make sure it's starting to get a little thick on me. which is quite fine um, for me to work with, especially with me wanting to do something to the top. So. Always make it a mess. doing this for not and you're not seeing anything. And again, this is mango papaya, and I'm going to tell you, this is such a fruity smell. It smells so wonderful. I really hate to put any more of this. No, we're going to save that one. So darn anal. Okay, so this is setting up okay. Who knows, maybe I won't do a high top on that one. But I still have quite 
quite a bit of room left in this mold here. Add some more green to this. I hope you can see what I'm doing and not the jar as I'm plopping this green on. I just want to see where I was with this and it's looking like it is setting up wonderfully. in love over here with how this is flowing. Okay, and this one is nearly to the top as well. Alright, so the top. Um, Oh my goodness, it's just, it smells so dang on good. Um, heads, high five to my sissy for suggesting that I make this soap today. Um, I have so many fragrances to test and try out and colors to test to try out and I just did not know which way to go. So I seeked her advice on what I should do next because I was like stuck in a rut. red and this fragrance is beautiful I mean it is behaving so well no acceleration whatsoever gotta love that right so Gonna give this a little swirly do on the top, and that will be that. Almost to the end of it here. Okay, that's the end of that. I hope you guys can see me. I think you can. The yellow behaved so well as well. Um, and I don't expect it to be this bright of a yellow when it gets done, but even if it does, that is okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. that yummy goodness out of the jar. Okay. And the last of our green here, which I was getting worried about it, but it turned out okay. You 
know so many people have been asking me lately how is it I got into making soap and well you know I'm a naturalista I've always been into uh, uh, natural remedies um, for the last oh, five or six years I've been into natural hair care and stopped putting chemicals in my hair and such and eventually it led me into soaping um, because I didn't like using store bought products because it had a bunch of stuff in it that I could not use in my hair if I was to achieve the goal that I was trying to achieve. Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to go grab my skewer so we can swirl this up. Okay. Alright, I just want to make sure you guys can see me do my thing here. Let's give this a smack down. I don't think I have very many, 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 <laughs> don't have very many air bubbles. in the soap um, because we worked the most of those out prior to pouring which is really the better way to go if you ask me Well, that turned out really nice. That swirl there. I like that one better than I like this one. Um, let's see. That's better. that is it um, trying to debate if I want to add glitter at this point and it's just such a pretty smell and the swirly cues look so pretty I think I will add just a smidget of glitter so hold on one second I will bring you guys back once I have my glitter in hand. 